Hey guys, we're up at Jacksonville at Baker Built Garage. We have uh, James's Mark IV Super on Dustin's mainline dyno, and we're gonna tune it today and try to make some power. It's a uh, 3.4 liter dart block, 10 to one compression, 276 cams from BC, and a precision next gen 7685. James, how much power is your car gonna make? Um, I don't know. I think that uh, one of the limiting factors will be the fact that we're still, like our fuel pump, we have the three four eighties in it, so I honestly don't don't know. He I doesn't think, know. I don't know. Uh, typically, thirteen hundred. Yeah, cool. that would be great. That'd be fantastic. Let's shoot for thirteen hundred. Let's give it a whirl and see how it goes. So we did a handful of runs today and uh, had a handful of problems. There was a coolant leak uh, on the back of the head from a water adapter thing. And then that drenched the ignition in coolant. So that took some time to clean up. And then there was some stuff with the wastegate lines, just common stuff. This is the stuff that you deal with when you go to the dyno uh, and you're sorting through a vehicle that it's a home-built car and the dude's doing a good job. We're here at the Baker Built Garage and around one o'clock, I said, we could call it. And they said, no, we're not gonna call it. We're gonna work through all these problems and get to the end of the day, which resulted in 1260 something horsepower. 1267 at 40-ish pounds of boost yeah, on the 90 Yeah, it's out, canned quality ethanol. What do you, what do you use today? One R. One, one R. So on one R, uh, it's out of fuel pump. So. Uh, there's three fuel pumps of unknown age in the tank. Uh, the voltages are hovering around 13 volts, but the fuel pressure really starts to go backwards over that boost level, so we stopped. But um, engine's got good vitals. The PHR tubular cast manifold performed well. It's really neat to have recirculated wastegates. I'm a big fan because you have turbocharger noises in the front and exhaust coming out the back. And uh, it was cool. So. I really, I like it too. This is, I've had a couple other cars. This is the first car I've had that has research gates and it sounds so different and so good at the same time. Yeah, I like it. I'm yeah, a I big like fan, a big fan. So um, James is gonna go home. We, next thing to tackle is uh, functional wheel speed sensors because then we can set up um, a way to kind of map the power and use the power. So I turn the boost back down to 30. He's got a, uh, 275 drag rate along the back and it'll be a manageable amount of power level uh, like that. And then whenever he gets his wheel speed sensors installed, we can dial those in. Then we can do uh, boost versus speeding gear along with uh, traction control. And then we can really start to use as much power as the vehicle can safely manage. I'm tired, ready to go home. <laughs> yeah, it's late. It's late. The day's a wrap. Thanks. And the we'll boys are ready time. to go home too.